Okay, uh, ooh, wow, that is fuzzy. Let's see if we can fix that with a little bit of light. There we go, okay. So, um, Mexican uh, hot chocolate stout in the bottles, uh, sitting nice and pretty. Um, again, bottle condition these suckers for uh, about a week or two. Um, I'll come back and I'll, I'll open up the bottle, periodically check to see if we got carbonation or if I see any yeast sediments kind of settle at the bottom. And uh, that'll be my test. So once I see yeast sediments come on the bottom, they'll be ready to put it in the fridge and then testing. So uh, interested to see how this one turns out, guys. Um, next video on this will be either the formation of some bottle sediments. Um, hopefully we'll get some. Uh, kind of nervous about this one. We might not get them. I'm, I'm not sure. Hopefully, hopefully these yeast, uh, there's still something in them. Um, and then, of course, after that, tasting. So, yeah, uh, next uh, video is going to be gluten-free ale, which I actually uh, shot today, so i got to do some post-editing. But, yeah, all right, cheers, guys. Hey, YouTube. All right, so it's been about six days since I bottled my uh, Mexican uh, chili chocolate uh, stout. Um, this was a beer that I brewed with a uh, Brewer's Best uh, whiskey barrel stout extract kit, and I just uh, put my own spin on it. Um, so without further ado, I mean, I know it's only been six days. I'm bottle conditioning um, to try to get carbonation. I'm not expecting a lot of carbonation here thus far, but uh, I got impatient. I want to see where we are in the process. I thought I'd film it. Uh, so without further ado, let me put you down for a second. Oh, okay. I'm going to pour and then I'll show you the... Yeah, so as you can see, just like I said, <laughs> basically no carbonation yet. Not surprised though, it's only been six days. This sucker's gonna take some time to really uh, to really force carbonate itself uh, in the bottles. Um, I don't know if you can see, there, there's, there's a little bit of carbonation in there. Um, and up on top, yeah, see a little bit of carbonation coming up, so cool. Uh, I'll take a smell. Uh, taste. You know, not bad. Um, very mild. Um, I like the balance of it actually. Um, yeah, let me get another sip before I comment on it here. Yeah, so um, the nose is really where the abuelitas comes in. Um, there's not really an overpowering chocolate piece to this at all. Um, you get you get the cinnamon and like the di different spices really come out at the beginning, um, and it's it's like a faux sweetness that you taste. Um, just kind of comes up, rolls in, and then clean uh, finish with that what I'd expect from an uh, from an Irish whiskey stout um, I would expect that kind of um, a boozy sort of character I guess that will come from the from the oak from the oak conditioning um, in secondary um, but it's pleasant it's actually really clean and, it's, and it, you get a little warm hit from it too um, which is kind of nice uh, this actually uh, by ABV mm. Oh yeah, that'll be great in like another week to two weeks in the bottles when it really picks up some garbs. Um, the ABV on this is actually a low end, maybe like a three nine four percent. So it's kind of funny. Um, I was way off of my uh, final gravity. 
and uh, this should, this should be anywhere between five and six percent. And I know what happened. Um, I, w I was just fermenting way too warm, so I had I had a quick uh, runaway, but my attenuation on, was was bad. It was just really crappy. <laughs> so, you know, lesson learned. Um, I, I, I recocked uh, how I'm fermenting now, so you'll see that in my gluten-free ale uh, video. But uh, yeah, no, um, th this is actually, this turned out really well. Um, again, it's not overpowering with the abuelitas at all. Um, definitely, you, you can smell it. It's definitely in the nose for sure. Um... And the color, I'm, I'm really happy with too. I mean, I obviously have my light on here. Let me see if I can... I'm filming on my iPhone, so... Is there a light here that I can get to? Yeah, so point, it's it's nice and dark, which is which is great. Um, but this is a nice sipper, actually. Uh, I'm happy. Um, I, I was really worried about this beer. Um, I, I had done a lot of additions, and, and, you know, I was really worried my gravity wasn't coming out right. But uh, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with my little my little porter that could here. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do another video um, probably another week and a half, two weeks. I'm gonna really let these these guys sit in the bottles um, and, and try to give the, the the forced carbonation you know it, its due diligence here. Um, again, I'm I'm in these uh, half liter bottles here, these 500 ml bottles, and I got a liter liter size bottles of these as uh, well. So it's gonna take some time, but um. Uh, that's it for right now. All so right, cheers. so uh, it's been 10 days in the bottle, 10 days in my uh, a little uh, half liter uh, snap top bottles here. Um, and this one is a uh, nice and nice cold. Uh, let's see if I can get some light. Barely see it's nice and dark. This is the uh, the Mexican hot chocolate uh, whiskey porter. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like it. Um, you can see already there's a lot more of a of a head. Um, so obviously the first tasting I had was very let's take a sip. Well let's get a smell and sip. Oh god, that is so good. Mm. Carbonation is there now. Um, it, it's it's not. It's lightly carbonated, um, just like a porter should be. Um, and, and that that carbonation, you know, being nice and cold too, really works out. Um, good mouth feel and everything uh, on the beer. Um, the chocolate is rounded out on it. Now and it's still crisp. So uh, yeah. Um, and I, I'm just sure the longer this sits in bottles, the better it's going to get. So I'm really happy with this one. Um, I'm going to leave the uh, the leader growlers, obviously. I'm not going to even mess with them probably for a month. Um, I want those to get really nice and good. And I'm probably going to share the half liter with friends. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Mexican uh, Mexican uh, hot chocolate porter, whiskey porter. Uh, uh, very successful, very happy with it. Uh, didn't get all the uh, the notes I was looking for, but uh, you can definitely get some of the compliments. So, um, yeah, uh, next beer uh, up is the gluten free stout. Um, got already some the, the the part one video up on YouTube, so uh, uh, look forward to seeing more then. Sorry about the hacksaw ridge in the background, I just had to see it. All right, guys, cheers.